it, Jason, back here again with another unboxing video for you guys. Hope you are all staying safe out there with this whole coronavirus situation. It's just starting to get a little intense. At first, I was like, just another one of those election year viruses type things. But no, it's never came to this. Things closing down, theaters closing down, movies being delayed. Some companies are closing, still paying employees, so this is like turned up another notch. It's spreading pretty quick, and I don't know full details. I don't look too, too much into it because I don't want to worry too much, but just stay safe out there. But yes, we're going to get to this unboxing video. Got my box here, this package from Limited Run. Although this one specifically, it's a collector's edition, but it's just... Um, let's see, I just put it up here. It's not part of the limited run games collection and is not a number release. They're just distributing title the title on behalf of PM Studios for the Western market. So basically they just made a physical version of this because it was originally digital only. So they partnered up and made a physical copy. But let's get this open and I'll show you what it is. It's something I've never played before. I've looked it up, looked into it. I guess it was released on Steam. A few years, not a few years, but maybe like a year or two ago. It's basically, you know, like paying tribute to typical beat em up type games, you know, like Streets of Rage, Double Dragon, River City, your games like that, the fighting games. It's just paying tribute to that, and it gives nods to, a lot of nods to horror. This one here we have, it's called Streets of Red. Like Streets of Rage, it's like a little. Um, it's a beat 'em up similar to Streets of Rage, and of course they did the name Streets of Red. Video games versus horror movies. So let's see. Basically, Streets of Red Devil's Dear Deluxe is a permadeath multiplayer horror beat 'em up that styles players with the skills of retro gaming heroes in a fight against a legion of undead monstrosities by paying tribute and playing parody to the great horror games and films that came before it. Shoots of Red Devil's Dare Deluxe balances light-hearted comedy against tension so thick that you could cut through it with a knife or a machete, axe, or even a chainsaw, like Texas Chainsaw Leatherface. The chills, thrills, bills, and opportunity to learn new skills here won't stop until every street runs red with blood. I can't wait to play this. Let's make paint this town red. Are you up for the challenge of an anti-lifetime? These get smoked better dope than I am. Really? That's all I ever want in the game. Nostalgia nerd. Engaging gameplay, high replay value, and a great co-op experience. Nintendo Life. Um, I did order the PS4 version. <laughs> Hopefully this is the PS4 version. I don't know why I mentioned Nintendo Life, but I guess just because they're one of the people that reviewed it. Let's see. On the cover here, of course you have this guy up here. It's supposed to be like Jason Voorhees. And I know he's on here somewhere. At least I thought he was. But there's someone similar to Freddy Krueger in the game. And then we got this guy over here. You can barely see him. He's like the demo go again from Stranger Things. So that's basically what that game's about. It's kind of like the 8 bit pixel type graphics and stuff like that. This is a collector's edition, so we're going to unbox this and see what it came with. I could just read to you guys what it came with, but what's the fun of that? I could just open this up and show you physically what is with this. I don't know if you can hear the TV in the background, but watch the Friday the 13th as usual. It's commercials right now. Who uh, watches movies on TV, TV anymore? Me. I do. That's all right. So here first we got a nice big poster. Yeah. Freddy Krueger on the top. It's supposed to be him, but you know it's not. It's just a little parody version. Let's get that there. This smells so good. The smell of new posters, new books. They all smell good. Let's see what else do we got? We have a retro video game box similar to Nintendo. There's something in here. I have no idea what is. Oh, it the wrong way. Yeah, I like when they do this. Alright, first we have an instruction manual, kind of like what the Nintendo games came with. 
back in the day. And of course, making it look like you got it on the Nintendo cartridge for the NES. But you really don't. Remember that, guys? Remember that? Oh, you can put it in the freezer. Usually, that stuff helped make the Nintendo games work. I remember back in the day, some of my friends would like put their mouth on it, which I'm not going to do with the whole virus situation, but they'd put their mouth on it and blow and it'd make like a whistle noise. I can never do that. So that's what came in that box. Close that up, put that back. And then we have the Streets of Red original soundtrack. You can see there how many tracks are on there. I can't read that backwards from this the from my phone's camera screen. Then we have the game itself. I almost ruined the poster. I'm gonna open this up and see if there's anything in here. Probably not because it's not a limited run. Collectors numbered edition or anything like that. They just released a physical version for the distributors. Nothing in here, no, of course, that's just what I thought. Just the game itself. So there's that. And, um, I'll be having a few unboxings coming up soon, so if you guys are subscribed or not subscribed, I recommend subscribing or check out my channel, see if you even want to subscribe, see what other videos I have put up before. And for upcoming ones, I can tell you I'll be doing the unboxing for Persona 5, Royal Phantom Thieves, Collected Edition. Then I have... The Resident Evil 3 GameStop Exclusive Collector's Edition I'll be unboxing coming up. So you got um, March 31st, as long as the virus doesn't delay any games. March 31st is supposed to be Persona 5 Royal. And April 3rd is supposed to be Resident Evil 3. And April 10th is Final Fantasy 7, the Deluxe Edition. I'll be buying that, so I will be unboxing all those if you guys are curious to check it out. Like I said, I recommend subscribing, so please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, check out my other videos. Definitely, most important, stay safe out there. Try to stay home as much as possible, unless you really, really have to go to work or get some groceries or something. Just stay home, play some games, watch some movies, enjoy time with your family, your pets, whichever it is. Just please stay safe, because I usually don't freak out about stuff like this, but I'm getting to the point where I am. So. Please guys, just everyone stay safe, and I will catch you guys later. Take care.